after 10 months, I'm back for the Doodle review. I'll tell you to see what's going on. So here we go. <coughs> okay, so let's take a look at the Doodle New Zealand. This is a biological person named, I don't know what, what it's called, let's have it, yep, it's Nettie Stevens. Nettie Stevens was a early American genic genetist. She and Edmund Beecher Wilson were the first researchers to describe the chrom chromosomal basis of, of sex but both concluded their research independently. Wow. Let's have a look at this map, but first, let's look. What are the genetic, what, what are the genetics behind gender? This simple question drove the work of Nettie Stevens, building on research by Edwin Beecher Wilson and Hunt, Thomas Hunt Morgan and Byron Marr, Marr Stevens discovered the connection between chromo chromosomes, chromosomes, and physicality. Let's take a look at the map right now. You can see there's a lot of countries. Remember, like last year. Last year it honored E.G. Suburaya, and I came out with the movie. And this year, I'm going to review Nettie Stevens. Let's look at countries that Stevens visited. New Zealand, Australia, South Korea, Hong Kong, Singapore, Taiwan, Thailand, Armenia, Russia, Sweden, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, Poland, Hungary, Serbia, Greece, Italy, Austria, Slovenia, Germany, Switzerland, France, the Netherlands, Spain, Ireland, Portugal, Canada, United States, Mexico, Dominican Republic, Venezuela, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, Venezuela, Puerto Rico, Peru, I mean Peru, Argentina, and Chile. Those were the locations that Stevens visited. Alright. Let's take let's move on with the interview about Nettie Stevens. It says it right here. <clears throat> That's Nettie Maria Stevens, DNA from the beginning. Let's click it right here. As you can see, Nettie Stevens was one of the first female scientists to make a name for herself in the biological sciences. She was born in Cavendish, Vermont. Her family settled in Westlard, Vermont. Stephen's, fam See, Stephen's father was a carpenter and handyman. He did well enough to own a quiet bit of Westford property and could afford to send his children to school. After Stanford, Stevens went to Byron Mauer College for more graduate work. Thomas Hunt Wor Morgan was still teaching at Byron Mauer and was one of their professors. Stevens again did so well that she was awarded a fellowship to study abroad. She traveled to Europe and spent time in Theodore Bovary's lab at the Zoological Institute at Wurzburg, Germany. I told you that. See this map? He visited a lot of countries. I told you that. Anyway. 
Stevens died in 1912 before she could occupy the research professorship created for her by Moore or work with Davenport at Cold Spring Harbor. Wow, that's shocking. So, let's look. These four bottles represent the guilty and honor. The bug right here stands for liberty and peace. The XY stands for, I don't know what it's called, chromosomes. Sorry, it was my mistake. Chromosomes, right here, see that chromosomes? And that Nettie Stevens holding a scope, which is a kaleidoscope or a microscope. And see another one is a buggy right here, and another bug too. These letters, G, G, E, L, E, no matter what it's called. <coughs> Excuse me. And that wooden table right here. That's what the doodle looks like. So, for those of you who had an impressive Nettie Stevens, please think what you are. Please think what you are, if you think. So, Nettie Stevens' birthday is tomorrow. She's going to be turning 155 years old. So please subscribe if you can. Thank you and bye bye